Grant is a juggernaut, but he won't say anything about it. There's some people that are very verbal. Well, Grant, on the other hand, does it through his experience and through his knowledge and his examples. His moral compass, right, is what sets him apart. He believed in all these causes and you kind of marry two things that he really enjoys well. He enjoys golf, but he also enjoyed putting the process in place for these kids to do better. Grant heard about um, the plight of homeless youth and the mission of CEP and he requested a meeting and we got together. I was so impressed by just his thoughtfulness and the questions that he asked and I think he was really moved by the mission. So he did a fundraising campaign for us. He wrote an incredibly thoughtful letter that really shared with people the experiences of children living right in our own communities struggling to get an education. Grant worked with me for two summers while I was the director of the summer treatment program at Judge Baker Children's Center. I felt like he gave so much to our program and it was really nice to hear that he was being recognized for his contributions. They keep saying, you know, the me generation. So you have to turn the me generation into the your generation. You know, I think Grant's taken a lot of strides towards that. His reaction was what I was proud of because he said, hey, this isn't about me. It's about all the people who dedicate their lives to serving the needs of children. The funds that Grant raised will help support our Family Reading Nights program and our Summer Reading Club. So thanks to Grant, there are a lot of kids who will have a very different summer now. I think at the end of the day, and this is something my brother has figured out at his young age, when you look back, it's not how much money or what trophies you have, it's the impact you have on people, and you can have the greatest impact if you love what you're doing and that attitude is infectious.